Yeah, so I'm here at Wendy's and the thing about here is really, really different. And the thing that about they have is they have spaghetti. I'll have to go check it out, try it and eat it. So let's go. Pretty sweet. It kind of tastes like a caramel macchiato, and it has a lot of coffee in it. So let's try the spaghetti out. Let's go. All right, guys. So this is the main course. The spaghetti. Let's try it out. Here we go. So this spaghetti, the Wendy's, is kind of similar to. McDonald's and the Jollibee chicken. I mean Jollibee spaghetti over here. It's a little sweet, not too salty. It's pretty balanced what I'm trying to say. And then let's try the chicken on now. Let's go. Okay, here's the chicken. Kinda tastes like a KFC chicken, so let's try to get inside of it inside now. Let's go. Pretty good. It balances really well with the spaghetti too. Let's try it with the salsa. Here we go. So with the sauce, it doesn't really need the sauce. Spaghetti works well with the chicken alone, but not the sauce, so it's pretty good. Alright guys, so the next food item we have over here is a cheeseburger. So this is what it looks like inside. It got cheese, it got pickles, Onions, tomatoes, so and mayo, of course. Filipino style, so let's try it out. Here you go. It's really good. It's kind of like a jumbo jack and jack in the box. So it's not overly balanced. I mean, it's not overly balanced. It's pretty balanced. Um, it's, it's not too sweet, not too salty, and it's really, it's kind of sweet too. So it's really good too, so try try it out. Let's try the next one. Okay, so our last menu item of the day for um, this place, of course, is going to be our Christmas BMM, which is bacon, mushroom, milk. And then this is what the burger looks like inside. I can't really break it with one hand, but so this is what it looks like. It got the, um, the mushrooms, the bacon, the cheese. I don't know what kind of sauce that is, but it looks like it has a little bit of mayo and chipotle in it. So let's dig in and not wait any more longer. So here we go. So the meat, the bacon, <clears throat> and the sauce is pretty good. But then, since it has mushrooms, I'm not really a fan of it because <clears throat> mushrooms aren't really, really good for me. I don't know why, but it's really good though. It kind of tastes like. Um, I've, Jack in the box, sweet and sour dough sandwich. Alright guys, so option and also what else they have over here? Look how big the drinks are. So this is like a small, like a water cup in where I'm at. And then this one is like a medium over where I am. And this is the large. Size. I mean, yeah, this is a large I believe, but I'm not really sure. And then guess how big the sauce is. Okay, sure. This is how big it is. It's called tiny. Yeah.
you don't hold it by the box. You hold it like a bag. What? Yeah. It's really weird, but you know, you gotta get used to it because it's a new way to hold it. Robinson's smell and I'm gonna try their Krispy Kreme donut cuz it's pretty different we got original we got vanilla cake we got Hershey's cookies and cream we got Kit Kat donut which is pretty weird and then we got winter melon green, green tea I think and then this is the chocolate donut that's over there but I think this one's a little different cuz this one has dark chocolate cuz I haven't really tried the Krispy Kreme over there I don't know what kind of chocolate they use, so let's go try it out. But the first donut I'm gonna try is the super, super unique one. It's gonna be the winter melon donut. So let's take a little piece. Break in half first, cause it's beautiful when you always break in half. Here you go. So this one is um not as sweet as I thought it would be. It doesn't really taste like winter melon. It just tastes like an original plain donut. Let's try the next donut. Let's go. Next donut I'm going to try is the Kit Kat donut because, of course, I have the Kit Kat sticking right now. I have to try it. So let's try a little freeze first. Go. So the Kit Kat isn't as sweet as I thought it would think about. I mean, it's not as sweet as how it is in... The state. It's a little bit more like the it's not crispy the the wafer inside. So let's try the actual donut. See what it looks like inside. Here you go. So this donut it doesn't taste like um a Kit Kat donut, just the the chocolate outside. But when you bite into it, it tastes more like a Boston cream donut. The cream is sweet. Yeah, it's just regular Krispy Kreme cream inside. And the chocolate is like milk chocolate. So it's a little sweet because I ate like the other donut earlier. So yeah, it has a lot of sweetness. Next one I have is the Hershey's cookies and cream. Let's go try it. Little piece. And here we go. So this donut, the Hershey's Cookies and Cream, doesn't really taste like cookies and cream because of the sweetness of the donut. So I think it's a little too sweet with the donut. And then like the Hershey's Cookies and Cream, it's a little too sweet. So the next donut I have is a dark chocolate donut. This is what it looks like inside. I'm trying to get a little piece of it. Oh, I guess it's not going to work. So it looks like pretty easy. So let's try it. So this donut is actually really good. It kind of tastes like um a hot fudge brownie donut. So it's really not as sweet as I thought it would be. So it's kind of like eating McDonald's hot fudge sundae without the the actual ice cream. Mm. It's just the the fudge itself. If that makes sense. So it's really good. So make sure you try it out because, I don't know, for me, I'm not a really a big chocolate lover, but this one, I actually like it. It's pretty weird. I don't know why, but let's move on to the next one. Let's go. For the last donut of the day, um, actually, like, the second to last donut is the original glazed donut. So let's go try it out. See how different it is from the sites. So I got a little piece of it because you already know what it looks like. It doesn't have any favoring. Let's go. So over here in Philippines, this original glazed donut isn't as sweet. It's not really, really sweet like how it is in the States. It's actually much less sweeter, like maybe like 30% less sweeter or like 70% less sweeter. So I would totally recommend this donut if 
You're not really into sweets like me. I'm not really a huge fan of sweets. But like this kind of donut, I would totally eat it. Just like the chocolate one. I'm not a sweets, but I really like it. So let's try the next donut, the vanilla cake. The actual, actual last donut is I have the vanilla cake. Let's go break it up, see what it looks like inside. So this is what it looks like inside. Just pretty, it's pretty much a regular cake donut. So let's break a little piece off to see how it really tastes like. So let's go. So guys, this donut is actually not like what I like to eat in America. Cause in America, the donut is more, it's not as cakey as this donut. Like the one, well, the, actually the one over there in America, it's more cakey. This one, it just melts more in your mouth. Usually I kind of like it, but this one, I'm not a huge fan of it. Maybe cause I'm not really used to the texture of it. But the one in America, the one I usually get is called the, uh, not sure exactly, but it's called a cooler. But it's more like, more cakey, it's a little more softer. Not as, not as soft as this one. And then like it has more the ridges on the edges, so it's like breaking apart more, and then you can dip it easily. I don't know, but something about the cooler, I really like it. This one, I'm not really into it, which is kind of weird. So that's it for the Krispy Kreme donut. Make sure you check out the Krispy Kreme donuts when you're in Philippines, cause it's really different here, especially the flavors. I thought it was gonna be the same, but after trying this, these donuts, it's pretty different. It's pretty unique. So make sure to try out the Krispy Kreme donuts cause it's a must. I came back from 7-Eleven and I found something really unique. It's pretty cool. So I got a taro chopao. So bad. Okay, anyways. Let's see what it looks like inside of it. Gotta make sure that you take the paper off first cause that part is not edible. <laughs> looks like inside. Perfect. So it tastes pretty sweet, it's pretty different. Pretty much tastes like a purple ubi. The skin, I mean, ubi is purple, what am I talking about? It pretty much tastes like a purple yam, which is, which is basically ubi. So it's pretty sweet, it's pretty mellow. Make sure you try this out whenever you go Philippines, cause it's pretty good. And it's pretty sweet, but not too sweet. That's all I wanted to show you guys. Until the next video, next eating, let's go.